Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm here just to share a little project that I've made today using the Tsunami Rose papers. I just adore them. This is the Jane Austen series and there are um, several different aspects to what Daisy has designed in the Jane Austen theme and if you want to see more having seen this project then do go along to her Etsy store and check it out. What what I've made in effect is one of these lovely stuff bags. I absolutely adore them and periodically I just get everything out and you know make make another one we'll say. This is the back of the bag and I've used three different colours of quite narrow trim here just to decorate the handle and there's a white uh, a kind of purpley pink and then a cream they're very very similar in their design so they fit together quite well I've just got them hooked around the handle so the recipient of the bag could in actuality just undo that bit and use the laces in their own right this is the front of the bag and it's just one of the ordinary bags that you can get in the works with the little cardboard handle makeup and all the rest of it and I always glue down the flat bit that would make the bag that much deeper but it does give you the integrity then of the gussets on either side of the paper bag they don't um, they don't lose their shape even when you've put things into the bag which is always great I've used the same lace trim on the front here some flat back pearl just the floral effect I'll just try and zoom in Oop. wrong way so that you can see it in all its detail it really is lovely and it just suits these beautiful beautiful papers so so well I'm absolutely least a bits with how this has come out. I've got two little book tags in the front pocket here. What they are in effect are postcards but they do lend themselves to being folded over because as you can see they are decorative, very very decorative and you can just slot them in. It would make a lovely little gift tag for another project. Here's the second one a little bit darker but all in all it's capturing the time the outfits of the ladies and it really is just absolutely lovely i love the detail of daisy's work i just think it's absolutely gorgeous so that's the second one that goes in there and then inside the bag if i pull it out very very carefully so as not to damage anything I've got two C6 sized cards. I'll just go out again and, and uh, let you see the full effect of the card. And it is simplicity itself. It's just more of the papers from Tsunami Rose. I've used a little punch from Stamping Up and put this little sentiment here on the front and then the little hearts down at the bottom. I don't know if you're able to see what it says there however it's it's academic it's it's just a nice little sentiment with a tiny little bouquet of flowers some more of the lilac -y pink lace trim and then I've lined the card on the inside like so rounded corners so it all looks really really nice so that's the first card and then the second card and of course they have their envelopes with them is the same same theme but different papers and it really does work very very well indeed i've just put a little crystal bicone here um in, in amongst the lace because it does just add a little bit of bling and glimmer to the overall effect of the card very very simple as i say no great difficulty for anyone to do that kind of card providing you've got nice papers to work with its simplicity itself and then the extra thing then that is in the bag is a really really mini style kind of junk journal thing I've used more of the Jane Austen papers 
there's an envelope here that is empty but could be utilised by the recipient. There are more of the postcards on this side and they really do have such a lot of detail. The ladies are obviously very, very stylish but they all were in that era and I just think they lend themselves beautifully to this kind of project. So you could journal on the back if you wanted to or not as the case may be. Am I doing this up the right way? Yep. Yeah. And then on this side is just a little tuck spot for putting in bits and pieces. You turn the page and you've got the same scenario on the other side, which then comes into the centre of this little journal. And it is a tiny, tiny little thing, just a pocket size that you could just put little jottings in to remind yourself of, you know, relatively small occasions, nothing that would require too much writing, that's for sure. And then I've tied off the centre having stitched in the pages and I've used this feather and the word believe just as central little decorations to the midway point. On the next page, it's all very, very simple are more of the postcards as you can see again places to journal or add extra bits to as you please then the back page is absolutely clear there's another little tuck spot pocket here at the very very back with a lovely little decorative edge but you can I just take the corner of this and show you you can just slot something smaller into that place. Oh no, my dogs are having a fight. Um, just to keep everything in order. So the aim of this is not only to share this with you, but to offer it up as a giveaway to people that are supporting my channel. There are lots and lots of you, and I do appreciate very, very much the watches, the comments, which are always lovely, you know, so I think I've had a couple of um, negative things, but in the main, I go with what is comfortable for me, and that's all the lovely people out there that say really, really nice things about what I put forward. So that said, if you would like to be included in the giveaway, which will conclude on Sunday. Just put your name under the video and count me in. And your names then will be put into a little something or other and I'll get Gary to choose someone to be the recipient of this lovely little giveaway. So thank you once again for sharing this time with me. I hope, if nothing else, it's inspired and that you feel you would like to take part in the giveaway. Bye-bye for now. Happy crafting, everyone.